On tap, Headhunter IPA. Hi, I'm James Knott and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today, I have chosen a beer for you because it is one of my personal favorites and I think you need to seek it out and taste it. But you don't just have to take my word for it. Our reviewers will be tasting it in a blind taste test format and won't be biased by my recommendation. Quick shout out to Chris Altmont, who is one of my favorite Ohio brewers and has helped out on this show in the past. Today's beer is Headhunter India Pale Ale from Fatheads. They have a brew pub in North Olmsted near Cleveland, a saloon in Pittsburgh, and in 2012, they opened a production brewery in Middleburg Heights, Ohio, and began bottling their beers. Why should you try Headhunter IPA? It won the gold medal at the West Coast IPA Fest in 2012. It also medaled in the American Style IPA category at the Great American Beer Fest and is currently ranked 84th on Beer Advocate's Top 250 Beers list. Headhunter is 7.5% ABV and 87 IBUs. They use Columbus, Simcoe, and Centennial hops and aggressively dry hop the beer. They want you to drink this beer fresh, which you should do with all IPAs, but I couldn't find a date on the bottle. Boo! Come on guys, add a bottling date so we know we're drinking our beer fresh. All right, it's time for the blind taste test. Kevin, my beer drinking buddy, what's up? What kind of flavors are you getting in this beer? Definitely, definitely piney, definitely hoppy, uh, good copper color, good lacing on the glass. Uh, so far, very enjoyable. Okay. Jeff, what kind of aromas are you pulling out of this beer? I get a lot of, a lot of pine out of here, James, and some, um, some caramel undertones from the malt. Really, I, I think it's got a nice balanced aroma to it. Would you really guess that it was dry hopped? I would guess that it is dry hopped, yes. Okay. Lightly? Substantially. Oh, substantially dry hopped. <laughs> Scott, how would you describe the mouthfeel of this beer? No, it's pretty good. I'd say it's got a decent malt backbone. It's got a little bit of uh, cream to it. I like it. I don't know. It's kind of reminding me of a couple different, because, you know, you obviously start liking certain breweries, and this reminds me a little bit of uh, Six Point, and it also reminds me of 21st Amendment Brewing, and I can't decide which or somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, overall, I think it's a good creamy mouthfeel, and I think it's a good smooth drinking beer. I yeah. really like it. It's I'd, a, add to, I'd add to that the carbonation, you know, right amount of carbonation. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, good yeah which too. creates that. Yeah. It's Would you guys put a wager on any sort of uh, style for this beer? I would I'm wager. saying IPA. IPA. Yeah. But what's your wager? I was wagering. What's my wager? He has to get naked on camera if we are wrong. <laughs> How much do I have? I'd say IPA or... I'll take my first shirt off. American How's that? Pale Ale. It's got to be one of those two. Okay, so it's definitely American-esque in your, your minds. Yeah, maybe a strong ale. I don't know. Kind of something funky, some sort of concoction. I don't know. I can't tell. Okay. I mean, it's IPA or something PA. Let's get some ratings. Kevin. Uh, I'd give this beer a solid eight. I definitely enjoy it. Uh, again, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. I'd buy it again. Uh, I'd recommend it, and uh, but I'd just say good. I guess uh, what I'm thinking is going to be a good IPA when we reveal what it actually is. Okay, Jeff, uh, is this the kind of beer that you would recommend? What is your rating for this one? I would definitely recommend this, James. Um, again, I, I think it's a it's a solid eight. It's a good, well balanced beer. It doesn't it doesn't linger in the mouth too long. As we said, it has it has a great mouth feel, and I get a little. A little refreshment out of that, oh. that carbonation. It kind of cleanses the palate. It's nice. What? I think it's Founders All Day IPA. Founders All Day IPA? That's well, you can, we'll see in just a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> what that's what exactly what it reminds me of. I was trying to think there's something. Whether it is or isn't, it reminds me exactly. So I'd guess it's 5% and it is an IPA. All right. What, what's your rating? I give it an 8. And what kind, when would you drink a beer like this? All day. All day. <laughs> <laughs> when wouldn't I? It's exactly. a great guy. I like it. Yeah, it's good beer. I don't know. What I would recommend is that you drink it when you are out hunting heads because it's headhunter. Head IPA. Oh, oh, I couldn't. You know. Oh. <laughs> I just picked this up last weekend, and I've had two of them. So yeah, that's why it seems so familiar. 
I knew a bunch of Ohio guys would get excited to see this yeah, one. This is good beer. Oh, it's excellent. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think it's excellent. I mean, in the script, I recommend it to everyone. Uh, go out and get this beer if you can get your hands on it. Find someone to trade with on beeradvocate.com. This beer is legit. Um, have you had a lot of Fat Heads beer? You know, I just picked up a four pack a couple weeks ago uh, and, and really enjoyed it. So now that you say that and I, I see the label, it makes sense to me. Uh, you know, I was I was trying to put my put my name or, or figure out what it was as well. Yeah, it's just trying and to figure out the fa- it's still like it, knowing that it kind of makes you feel like I don't know. Founders might be a little close to this, but I don't. Know, I have a cold, so I can't really. Well, that's the first thing I, I said was had I had this before. Right. Yes. In so fact, just this weekend, I had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really very good. Is this one that you usually go for as well? Do you like it? I mean. You know, again, I just got it. Oh, this uh, is the first you know, time and I've, it. I've bought it since. Um, but, but I think just recently coming into uh, regular, we can find it here in, in Middle Ohio. Yeah. Um, you know, definitely probably buy it many times again. This is one that I always get from my out of town beer geek friends when they say like, "Hey, you, what's the best Ohio beer? Or what Ohio beer would you recommend?" I mean, I always go to this one first these days. This and White Raja from Brew Kettle yeah. are two of my favorite Ohio beers. Scott, do you like this beer? I do. I love it. I have a four pack of it sitting at, uh, in my office. If this uh, wasn't blind, do you think you would have rated it higher? No. I think it deserves an eight. Uh, if I could smell maybe right now, I'd have a better rating. But no, I think it's an eight. I think it's one of my top 50 beers. I think it's... Uh, I don't know, it's tough because the competition has gotten so tough for IPAs now. I mean, even when we started this. A lot this, of good ones. Yeah. yeah, three or four years ago when we started doing this, it, was, it wasn't the same competition. Now the bar has been raised because there are so many IPAs out there, so many good IPAs. So my top five beers now, I mean, it can change at any given moment because we try so many new different beers. I mean... Bodie is an awesome beer, and yeah. it's a local Columbus beer. Columbus Brewing Company. Yeah, Columbus Brewing Company, Bodie. It's one of their uh, best beers, I think. I mean, it's awesome, but it's also, what, 9%, 8.5, somewhere around. Right. right. Yeah. And, but it has the same kind of creamy mouthfeel, even a little bit more. But again, it's just it's so hard to discern these days because everyone's the making such great beers. 7.5. Seven yeah, somewhere around there. That one it is. Yeah. All right, Headhunter IPA gets an 8.0 on the BBA scale. That means recommended, and that was in a blind taste test. Once again, I do recommend you get this beer. Go out and find it. It's delicious. I'm James Knott. This is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.